see that sheen out onto the roadways. And Chris, the tough part about that is a lot of that's the chemicals that CDOT puts down, but you never know, especially when temperatures get into the 20s like this. Yeah, and up high, we're actually in the single digits above and below zero, and you know, those chemicals can struggle to work with some of those temperatures. In fact, look here, two below in Frisco, five below in Leadville, zero in Aspen. Definitely some of the coldest air we've seen across the entire state uh, in quite some time. Teens and 20s on the eastern plains and western slope. Watch this, just a very slight breeze knocks those temperatures down even more. It feels like 18 below in Leadville, zero in Steamboat Springs, eight in Greeley and eight in La Junta this morning. So bundle up as you head off to church. Paul Kaplan out northwest of Gunnison, our favorite temperature here at CBS4. He is sitting at four degrees, a third of an inch of snow up in Pete's at Wendy's house under those persistent snow bands that have been uh, grazing northeastern Colorado. One storm continues to slowly move away, still putting a few flurries on the northeastern plains, uh, but we're watching this next system out here near Los Vegas. It's on its way into the state. Most of the snow is going to fall here in southwest Colorado, up to four inches below 9,000 feet, four to eight inches above. But we do think we'll see a little snow in the mountains, mainly along and south of I-70 today uh, as that storm system slowly moves in. As we roll into the afternoon and the evening, could get a few snow showers right here along the Front Range Urban Corridor and the adjacent foothills. We are not talking anything significant, but a few of you may be lucky enough to pick up a dusting or a quick inch as that snow uh, system rolls across the state. It's a weak and disorganized storm, but it will bring some cloud cover and it keeps us on the cool side for a little while longer. As we roll into Monday morning, could have some lingering flurries. Here's the snowfall forecast. Again, southwest Colorado takes the brunt of this. Uh, but we will see some minor accumulations elsewhere as it rolls through. Mostly teens and 20s in the high country with 30s on the eastern plains and western slope today. Some 40s in the Arkansas River Valley of southeastern Colorado. So a couple of afternoon flurries or snow showers, maybe even lingering into the morning as this weak, disorganized weather system rolls on by. And then we're going to just stay chilly, uh, Joel, tomorrow right into the new work week. Only 30s to around 40 each day, but we will We'll have sunshine and you know in Colorado uh, even when you're that cold full sunshine it feels pretty good it's all we ask a little sunshine you bask in it and you're yes, fine absolutely <laughs> thank you Chris sure. for a half a